There it is, going for a ride. A little dirty, and that's all right though. says we got to wait, which I agree. Pretty fun though. I have a little guy to play around with. Keep you busy, I guess. I said, I don't know why I'm talking about dogs, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll talk about dogs for a little bit. <laughs> Girlfriend and I were talking about, uh, you know, one day when we can get a dog together, um, you know, and she wants something that's something like a lab, which I like labs, but uh, I actually grew up around uh, Great Danes. I've had a couple Great Danes uh, throughout my life, and I think they're awesome dogs. Awesome all around, awesome with kids, awesome with uh, other people, other dogs. Actually scared of little dogs in my experience, but no, I think there's awesome dogs. Looking at like basset hounds too, and you know, I just think a, a lab, because we live in an apartment right now, and I mean obviously I'd, <laughs> a great day would be way too big for an apartment, but um, I just think a lab would be... Uh, too hyper and energetic for an apartment. So I think something like a basset hound or something would be uh, would be good. They're pretty laid back and lazy. So check my chokes in. Yep. Being a 2007, it's not fuel injected, which is kind of weird, but I don't mind it. If you guys watched any of my old videos, my uh, that red Suzuki I had for a little while, that was fuel injected, and that was a 2005. But uh, the Road Stars, they didn't start fuel injecting these until 2008. So this is the year before they started fuel injecting. But all my bike's carbureted, which I find it to be easier to work on. easier overall, um, less to go wrong I guess, electronic wise, although this is, has a, uh, it's like an electric throttle position sensor or something, I don't know, I know it's got a TPS throttle position sensor on it, on the car itself, so, ooh, what is that, oh, <laughs> I'm like, I, I feel something flapping and hitting my windshield, but it's, it's my drawstring on my hoodie that I'm wearing. Keep, forgot to tuck that in. Even though it's nice and sunny, and it was a, it's a nice and calm day, it's kind of chilly actually. It like barely got to 70, so riding is a little chilly. But, I'm actually going to take the, uh, oh, looks like they hate this field. They can hang on it. And I was saying I'm actually going to take uh, a back road out by, it goes out by the Air Force Base and stuff like that. So it's kind of a cool road. I don't know how the audio, I don't know how the audio is going to uh, come out since it's like 55 mile an hour road. And I know typically, uh, I still haven't gotten a chin skirt for my helmet yet. I mean, and at this point, I don't know if I will, um, because I'm actually probably going to be get, getting a different helmet here before I go take my ride to uh, uh, Wisconsin and Door County as my girlfriend and everyone, because we want to get different helmets. I've had this uh, full enclosed helmet, which I really like. I'll probably get another one, but I think for the ride out there... Um, we might get, I don't know, debating whether we should get full full face helmets 
or uh, like a like a half helmet. We've we've ridden with those before, and those are nice because it's easy to talk back and forth to each other on the bike while we're riding. So I guess what what, what are you guys' opinions? You know, if, if do you guys ride two up, and if you do, do you use full face helmets or do you use like half helmets? You know, I mean, I in my experience, I found it easier to talk to my girlfriend with a half helmet versus a full face. Um, but I mean full face helmets then you can just get an intercom and talk back and forth too. Now if you guys are not open, wide open roads and open space, here you go. Doesn't get any better than this. Yes, I like twisties, I like mountains and stuff, but this is nice too sometimes. swan out there. Yeah, I believe we do. Yep, there it goes. Swan, we got some ducks. That'd be good hunting out here. I bird hunt, in case you guys didn't know. I hunt ducks and geese. And out here is prime, prime for it. People, like, all over the U.S., actually, I've, I've seen so many different plates up here just for the hunting. Actually, at this road up here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull over and take a pic picture of the bike. I do have, I don't see anyone behind me way back there, but that'll give them some time to pass me up, so. Slowing down, use back brake only, and loose gravel. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we, we want a little reflection off the bike here. There we go. Nice little, make it, make it look nice and shiny, although it's probably, although it's probably dirty now. Oh, oh yeah. Face shield locked. Yeah, I picked up a few bugs. Gotta love that lope. guys I appreciate you guys watching my video again I'm so ex I'm so excited to get back in the uh, in the group of things and get motor vlogging again I'm gonna be making a bunch of videos I mean I don't, I don't know uh, I mean I, I'm not gonna say you know well I'm gonna make like you know a uh, motor Monday or uh, or <laughs> I'm just using like stuff like Walter Riffix using you know but I mean like I'm, I'm not gonna make a certain vlog on a certain day or I'm not gonna guarantee I'll make a video a week or two videos a week or whatever it's you know eh, it's gonna be gonna be whatever happens um because i mean i'm busy and i'm sure you guys are busy um which you know which i appreciate you guys watching my videos anyways but now uh, you can smell you can smell the sport bike exhaust there's a couple bikes down here earlier they got they got that certain smell to them i like it I like that race race exhaust smell i don't know Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm going goofy, but they have like a certain smell to them. It smells good. But sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> Surprise. Um, but no, um, I'll be. Uh, I'm gonna make a bunch of videos, but it's just gonna be like you know, as I feel. I mean, I'm not gonna guarantee I'll make you know one, two, or three videos a week, or you know, maybe it'll be one every two weeks, or you know, and then maybe one week I'll make you know four or five who knows I mean I probably won't go that crazy but you never know oh, I know this guy this 
so many cool guys riding around. Oh yeah, there's yeah, they got they got quite a bit of a showing there. Not as not as much as they have in the past, but they have a decent amount of people that showed up. Yeah, you guys will like uh, you guys will like the one I take you guys to thir uh, Thursday night at Culver's. That place gets packed. Tons of neat old cars. If you guys are are uh, if you're motorcycle people, I, I assume you guys are car people too, because I mean, you know, we're all on the road and enjoying enjoying the pavement. So but yeah, sorry guys, I got sidetracked again. Uh, appreciate you guys watching my video. Um, as always, like, share, subscribe. Um, especially if you uh, like my videos or, I don't know, maybe you find what I'm talking about interesting, definitely hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Appreciate it, and we'll see you guys on the next video.